Hi, I'm interested especially in hybrid cloud environments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I understand they're the most complex to manage from a number of different perspectives, including security. But pretty much everybody agrees that this is going to be the prevalent model going forward. So what's RSA doing to ensure hybrid environments? So one of the most critical aspects of, of cloud is managing your relationship with the cloud service provider in a hybrid cloud. If you're doing only a private cloud, there are lots of issues around virtualization management. In fact, there's some very interesting work being done by our colleagues at VMware around software defined data centers that we're very much in support of. But for the public cloud and, and for the, the combination of private and public in the hybrid cloud, being able to manage what you expect of that, of that cloud service provider in terms of their security model, um, how you get attestations from them, um, what you do in terms of auditing that, all ties directly into governance risk and compliance issues. And we believe that our Archer platform is a fundamental tool to allow you to manage that relationship. It's one that we, uh, for example, have enhanced in terms of specific controls that allow you to work with a cloud service provider to understand the security properties of their environment. Um, we're also en enhancing it in terms of new standards that deal, for example, the Cloud Security Alliance guidelines that deal with specific cloud issues. So the governance risk compliance is the first of those. The second is um, our, our strong belief that um, this kind of adaptive authentication model is fundamental for user interaction with the cloud. Increasingly what you see in hybrid clouds is that users interact directly with the cloud, not going through the enterprise. And so having the same kinds of adaptive and strongly um, uh, multi-factor uh, capabilities for authentication to the cloud are equally important uh, as in the enterprise. And finally, any, any environment like a cloud environment that's dealing with large volumes of users needs to have effective security analytics in order to understand what's going on in their environment. And so we're uh, uh, enhancing our capabilities to make them cloud ready in the analytics space. We believe strongly that any cloud service provider should be working with vendors like ourselves to build out not just security defensive mechanisms, mm -hmm. but uh, security analytics capabilities that really allow them to understand what's going on in their environment. Mm -hmm. Yes, I heard a lot about big data analytics yes. in the keynote presentations <laughs> yesterday, and you right. had some very big announcements in yes. that area. I'm wondering um, this technology could be used by a smaller organization. The reason I'm asking that is because in Canada we have a very high proportion of sure. mid to large, uh, mid to large size enterprise. So I, I think there are two parts to the answer to that. The first is that increasingly, as security capabilities associated with cloud service providers become more robust. There's actually, I, uh, we believe there'll be a very strong impetus for small and medium-sized businesses to take advantages of cloud capabilities, uh, service, uh, uh, service capabilities especially provided by cloud service providers, mm -hmm. and that they should be able to rely, uh, really rely on those capabilities provided as part of the service um, that the cloud service provider offers. And uh, we certainly, in terms of uh, our work on security analytics, our work in authentication, our work in cryptography and data loss prevention are trying to provide the core capabilities that will help cloud service providers who are offering services to small and medium business make those fully secure and, and in fact make the cloud a more secure environment than a small or medium business could ever achieve uh, for themselves. The other part of that though is that there are ways in which the model for security analytics, the idea of look, thinking about risk and being able to manage your environment based on risk, does apply for small and medium businesses themselves. That in fact it's not just a question of what tools you buy or uh, what technologies you put in place. It's also a kind of mindset about how you think about security and that security should be part of how you think about risk in general. A, a small dentist office, for example, has to think about liabilities related to their, their information. Um, even if they're doing paper records, what, what is the risk that those records might be exposed? Or a hospital where you're treating celebrities, for example, you have significant concerns about the violation of privacy for those, those celebrities. The same is true in general for, for security. You have to think about it in terms of risk models, and even a small and medium business can benefit from that. So you may not put in place a full governance risk compliance program,
But nonetheless, think about security and the management of security as part of that larger set of, of management issues you're dealing with uh, in your business. Mm -hmm. And security analytics um, is going to help you in the business across the board, in customer relationship management, in innovation, and it will help you as well in security issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your insight, Bob. My pleasure. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah.